everybody Hello. and welcome back to fucking easy food prep healthy food you actually want to eat so today we're making a it's greek inspired recipe isn't it yes, yeah yes, it's it from is. it's from our uh, one of our coaches um or the ladies in our program one of our big sisters nikki and she what did i just do then i just touched <laughs> the stove the good old I hate the induction stove oh, oh, you've got to so, get the gas oh no um yeah so she's greek she's about five foot nothing um, <laughs> What do we call her? The uh, what? Are, what do small people call her? Midget. No, yeah, midget. The midget. Yeah, the she's midget. she's really we'll awesome. And she sent us a spatula once, a red spatula. <laughs> it's like, it's honestly the best spatula because we were Nikki, struggling. We need a bigger tray though. Yeah, can so you send, can us send us a bigger? Yeah. A big tray. We've just figured out uh, we need a bigger tray. So this is we've sort of adjusted this slightly just to make it a little bit um, e easier and more simpler because it's fucking easy food prep. <laughs> so. I actually, we're going to have this for lunch today, which it's would be awesome. It's called moussaka, by the way. Yeah, mm. yeah. So What's supposed to be moussaka? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know what it's going to turn So out. Mel, while you, while we, we're going to start cooking the onion off, but while I turn this on, tell everyone what the ingredients are. If I okay. can turn them, there we go. The ingredients mm. are, we're going to put one kilo of lean beef mince, 600 grams of potatoes, which we've just, um, steamed a little in the microwave. Yeah, or you can or you can just minutes. parboil them. So yeah. like 600 grams raw um, and then pit, mm. like just slice them up like that. And then you can just like centimeter round. Yeah. And then just chuck them in boiling water for like five minutes or 10 minutes just mm. to cook. Otherwise it will take forever to cook in the, yeah, um, yeah. In the oven. Yeah. How much One coconut oil? really <laughs> large um, eggplant. Just sliced. Uh, one, say a teaspoon. About, yeah. Yeah. about 10 like grams, you reckon? Yeah. 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 Two tins of diced tomatoes. Now, I was having a look this morning at um, the ingredients mm. in these diced tomatoes, and there's so many brands with crap in them. It's better, it, and it is actually better too if you just get some passata, like in a glass. Mm. It's better because tin tomatoes, just the BPA, but like I wouldn't eat them all the time. If you can, like, what's the, is it Moody? Is that some good? Moody, no. I call it Moody. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can get tomato passata in a glass yeah. jar, just get that. But yeah. where Mel was, oh. she couldn't get the yeah, glass. Get it, so, yeah. With no crap in it. So, how many grams is that? That's. Um, so, that's. So, eight, so 800 grams of either diced tomatoes or tomato passata. One large onion. And put that in. Three cloves of garlic, or just say about three teaspoons if you've got the jarred crushed garlic. Now, we get, we've just put the oven on to 180. Yes. Yep. What about this cheese? What's this cheese? That is mm. goat's cheese, which Winston's really fond of. He's walking around here with a bit of How grated much? cheese on his um, head. A uh, hundred grams. Hundred grams. So like, you know, if you didn't want to use goat's cheese, you could just really use any cheese that you like. Like yeah. Parmesan would probably be nice too. Parmesan or mozzarella yeah. or something. Yeah. It's quite a, um, that's nice. I like it. Mm. Nice flavour. Yeah. Mm. What was the cheese it was supposed to be? Well, it was supposed mm. to, I don't know the name. Some what Greek cheese. What's name called? Oh, God. Kefalora oh. cheese. Nikki will be laughing her ass off. So I was in the shop and I'm looking for that mm. and I couldn't find it. So I Googled what that meant and it said some kind of goat's cheese. So I just got oh, goat's cheese. got resourceful, didn't you, Mel? I did. Yeah. I'm very resourceful. <laughs> so what are we yeah. just going to brown? Yeah, this just off. brown this off for a little now, bit. Now, what are these spices? Do you want me to mix while you, sure. you tell about the spices? Um, we've got two tablespoons of parsley, mm -hmm. one tablespoon of thyme, one, uh, one teaspoon of thyme, sorry, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half to one teaspoon of nutmeg, mm -hmm. one teaspoon of white sugar, and mm -hmm. two tablespoons of tomato paste. Mm. And, of course, salt. Always salt. Yeah, we love lots of salt. Always. Don't be afraid of salt. Don't be afraid no. of sugar. No. It just gives, it gives things so much flavour too. Like, I can't even imagine mm -hmm. food now with no, no salt in it, can you? No. Yeah. No. Um, it's interesting. I was, uh, it, it, when women come into our program, sure, a lot of the women who watch this can relate. Um, you know, their bodies are really depleted after years and years and years of stress. So I like to think of it, it's like, like death by a thousand cuts. It's not like one day you just all of a sudden wake up and you're fucked and you know, you've got all these metabolic issues and you're fat um, or you're overweight or you've got heaps of body fat to lose or maybe you don't, maybe you're good at restricting, but um, you know, it's the effect of 
years and years and years of it. So, you know, stress from low calorie diets, from over exercising, from lack of sun, from lack of sleep. You know, sun is so important. Oh, every it is. Day. It is. Oh, so you feel important. so much better from you know emotional stress. So, you know, like you may hate your job, you've got um, a bad relationship, perhaps. I'm adding the beef now. Toxic people in your life are not good. <laughs> and then, you know, the, there's like environmental toxins. So, you know, a lot of the stuff that we put in our skin, you know, in our hair, our, our body will absorb that and they're um, quite estrogenic in nature. So, you know, it's, it's all of that overload of everything that basically eventually wears your body down. And, you know, I think, you know, when women, and I see it all the time, and look, I even do it with myself, and you are doing everything right, with maybe you train, getting sun, getting sleep, training, but there's stress, stress is in your life. Um, you know, kids keeping you awake at night, and there's something happening maybe with your partner, really stress, stressful time in your job or your business, and that will really affect you. And I did this really interesting podcast with, you know, Lisa Vaughan. Yeah. Yeah. She's amazing and I'll release it probably in the next month or so. But she's been in our program for two years now and she's a real, um, let me just turn it up a bit. She's a real, oh, she's just driven, really amazing. But like many women have done years and years and years dieting. She had SIBO, really bad SIBO, really bad digestive issues, um, you know, thyroid issues, con lots of stress, like overachiever. She's incredible. She runs her own business. She's got kids. Um, and she came into the program and just did everything. She did everything with the food, she saw good improvements, but one of the areas that she didn't address probably up until about four months ago was the stress. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, to me, Kitty, in the, in the interview, in the podcast, I just try and save people. You know, I take everything on. Yeah. 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 And that she was... She carries everybody yeah. else's emotional pain around yeah. with her as yeah. well. Yeah. And she yeah. had had so many stressful things happen to her in, the, in like the last six, eight months. Her sister nearly died in a motorbike accident. Um, her husband was going through depression. Her, there was some issues with her, her son. Um, you know, just all of this other stuff mm. happened. Her mum was sick. And it's like, you can't underestimate the effect that that constant stress has on your body. Yeah. And she ended up getting diagnosed with Hashimoto's. And I remember us going back and forth and, you know, she was feeling really disheartened because, you know, she'd done all this stuff. And she's like, why have I got Hashimoto's? And I just said to her, well, you can't underestimate the effect that the stress is having on your body. Yeah. You know, like, where's your food at? How much are you eating? You're eating enough. And, you know, we looked at how much she went and tracked her food again and she was only eating 1,500 calories. So I'm like, well, that's a good place to start. Do that. And then, you know, she started to address, you know, I think it was someone else, uh, um, Carol, who's a psychotherapist in our mm -hmm. program, just I can't remember what she said to her, but something about the stress. And so... Lisa being Lisa went away and she started doing meditation and she said it was really hard to start with, but now she's so much more relaxed. She's really working on balancing her mm. blood sugar with her food. Her, she poos every day now. She used to like wouldn't poo for a week. Um, and she went back to the doctor's, got a blood test. Doctor's like, this is incredible. Like all your, like you don't have Hashimoto's yeah. anymore. And she's like, what have you been doing? So, you know, it's incredible that she did all that good base work, yeah. which has, set her up for success, but then that final piece was lowering the stress. Mm. You know, so I think if you're someone, you, you just, it's got to be a holistic approach. Yeah. You know, like I even find too, like with me, and I think stress will manifest itself, the symptoms in different ways in different people. And I always know when I'm stressed, because I start, I get um, eczema on my hips. Oh, it's really? so weird, yeah. Like it's like, and, and wow. a few weeks ago, it was flaring up and I was like, oh fuck, what the fuck? You know, and I was like talking to Emma about it. I'm like, my diet's perfect. You know, I haven't yeah. changed a thing in my diet. And, you know, but it's obviously this whole COVID thing and just mm. being busy. And I think too, sometimes I just put the stress on myself yeah. and I really had to like go, like be mindful and practice being mindful and, and thinking, you know, and like not worrying about shit that I couldn't control. Mm. And then within a week, the eczema has started to go away. Yeah. Like, isn't that incredible? Yeah. Don't you reckon? And I, I find like um, people that are always worrying about what they have to do next or mm. what they fucked up. You know, mm. it's like we're never present in the moment. And you're mm. probably very guilty of this too because oh, totally. you've always got a million things going of on. Of course, in it's like head. a ping ball machine you know, in here. Like, oh, yeah. You'll be talking away and then a butterfly will pass yeah. and she'll be like, and then she'll think of something else, you know? Oh, totally. <laughs> Um, but I think being in the moment and focusing on exactly like what you're doing at that moment, you mm. know, like when we're driving along, 
we're not thinking about driving, are we? We're thinking about all the things that we have to do. Mm. It's like, why don't we just drive along and actually think about driving, mm. you know? Mm. Yeah, I really think for a lot of women, like if you're doing everything right, you know, with your training and your nutrition and sun and everything, and you, you, you really can't underestimate the effect that that stress is having on your body. Um, and, you know, if you're someone who goes a million miles an hour like me, like you, you really, like I have to constantly, I've really been thinking of last, bringing myself back, bringing mm. myself back. Um, and it works, it works, you yeah. know, like you've just got to figure out like what the actual issue is, I think. Mm. Um, and making that a habit of being yeah. able to, you know, pick up on when you're doing that and, mm. you know, like you said, keep saying, come back, come back, you know. Yeah. Like, it's not like you can instantly do it. I think no, people underestimate, practice. like, you've got to, you've got to practice yeah, it, hey. you have to practice, yeah. yeah. Even sitting there, you know, like, and focusing on eating. When you're eating, focus on actually eating and chewing the food, not mm. looking at your computer or, you know, worrying mm. about what you have to do after lunch. Mm. It's like, sit there and chew your food. Yeah, and you know, I know it can be a hard pill to swallow. Like we have women come into our program who've got thyroid issues, autoimmune diseases, and they're like, I just want to look like you, Kitty. And I'm like, it's not going to happen for a long period of time. Like I know that that sucks, you know, but you have to spend the time reducing all those stresses and then basically rebuilding your body and giving it enough energy and nutrients so it can repair itself and come out of that like, oh my God, I'm so stressed. You know, if your kids aren't sleeping, if you do shift work, you know, if you're having a really stressful time at work, it's not a good time to, like, you can't be expecting that you're going to look like this tip-top athlete. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's just, you've got to shift your focus from, I want to look like this to, you know, how do I heal my body and repair my metabolism so that when I do start strength training, you know, my body's in a good position to cope with that stress and respond and build muscle and lose body fat, you know, and I think it's, and it takes, no. oh God, no. what have we done now, Mel? put everything in there. The tomato paste, all the herbs, tomato yum. Tomato paste, all Should the I put herbs. some salt in? Yeah, oh mm. yes. Mm. Oh God, that smells amazing. Mm. We're going to have this for lunch, hey, Mel? You are, I didn't bring any lunch, mm, so yum, you're feeding yum. me from now on when I'm here. <laughs> so just mixing all that in and then the tomatoes? Yep. Yeah. Then um, the parsley in last. Yeah, and I think it's like you, you, your body will just keep gaining weight, like especially to like if you're someone who has come from a severely restrictive background. So like, you know, you're really restricted for a long time and maintained a low body weight. You would be surprised at probably how much weight you have to gain and then sit there for a, for a while before yeah. you actually yeah. going to lose body fat. Like, and it is, I know it's sucky, but you have to think about the long game. You know, me, Mel and I actually were just, it's funny because I think people look at me and think, oh, I've always like looked like this, but I've gone from the extremes, like the lowest weight I've been was 54 kilos when I just competed and dieted the fuck out of myself for so long. And then I think my highest weight, I was like 74 kilos and we were just looking at that picture and I'm like, like, I'm not, f well, I'm a lot fatter than I am now. Like I'm holding so much more body fat, maybe, I don't know, 30% body fat, 32% body fat. She's got a bit of a belly like yeah. She's standing yeah. there like this with a yeah. gate in her mouth, like, and you I know, sent I, it to her the other yeah. day. I'm like, oh, look at no, this. No. That was it's five about, years yeah. ago. Yeah, five years ago. Yeah, and you're like, you know, and I think back then I used to just, I ate so much, even more food than I ate now. And I think, oh, it probably was good for my body to sit there holding that body fat yeah. for a while and letting, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, so I think you've just, it's, it sucks, but I think the sooner you can accept it and nourish your body and look at reducing stress and stop focusing on I've got to lose body fat I've got to be lean then you can actually start progressing towards your goals because once you fix you once you heal your body and restore everything then you can then you can strength train and your body will respond mm -hmm. and the fat will come off you know and it'll yeah. slowly come off over time and it's sustainable then and you're eating way more food yeah. hey yeah and I think when you're in a good place like that you know you like myself now, like mm. what I've been telling you, like mm. I'm trying to put on weight, yeah. you know, because I'm like, I'm super happy and like... I, she I'll, just wants a bigger ass and hips. I want like big hips, you know, so I've been eating heaps of food cause, and, but, oh, <laughs> like it's maybe going a little bit to my belly, but, you know, mostly to my hips, but I'm okay with that because it's like, you know, mm. Um, mm. but years ago we were saying this morning, Years ago, I wouldn't have been able to do that. I was like, oh my God, you know, I'm getting fat. I have to restrict calories oh, now. Oh, I know. You know. Blah, blah, blah. But now I'm actually going the other way because I want to, you know. Oh, I feel great though. And she I, wants I, to be I, more curvaceous. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm just... Feel, like, I'm, you know, the 
the grease in the... Just going to grease this smell with a bit of okay. coconut oil, yeah. That's a Marilyn Monroe, yeah. you know? She, she was like... So oh, she was so sexy, eh? 16 yeah. or something. And she was beautiful. Oh, I know. Yeah, I want to be like that. I love a big ass and big hips. Oh, I love big hips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love the big hips. Have a bit of chunk, you know? I want yeah. a bit of chunk. <laughs> a bit more junk in your trunk, yeah. eh, Yeah. Okay, All right. so I've, uh, let me just wash my hands. Okay. Oh, the bloody, oh, I know. God, it's so annoying, isn't it? Yeah, it's very. Yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you're going to put the potatoes. So we're just going to let this simmer. And you could probably let that simmer for like half an hour if you wanted to, just to develop more flavour. Obviously, we're not going to do... I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. It's quite colourful. And then we're just going to spread the potatoes across the bottom. You might get a bit of overlap. Like, it doesn't have to be, you know, perfect. Yeah, no, I yeah. think overlap is good. Yeah. Yeah, and just make sure, like, you want them to be, like, close to cooked when you put them in, because yeah. otherwise they just take yeah. forever in forever. the... Yeah. yeah, they'll be really hard. Um, 600 grams, okay? Yeah. Raw. Raw. Nikki oh, will be like, you bastardise bastardize my recipe. I've really, I've salted them mm. really well too, so. This smells delicious. And then oh. we're putting, layering the eggplants on. Yeah. yeah. I can smell the, um, the nutmeg. Oh, I know, it smells amazing. It's good one, Nikki. Yeah, good one. It yeah, smells it, very Greek. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should be like, no shit, you idiots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, I hope you didn't wreck my recipe. <laughs> yeah. So there's a little bit of overlap here too, because I just don't want to waste any. Just. Okay. So now we're going to pour yeah. the mints over. Pour the mints just over. I wish that this, hang on, maybe if I turn this off, it won't turn on when I. There we go. It's touchy, isn't it? It is done. Okay, I'll, I'll hold yeah, it here. and you scoop here. it out, okay? Because that hot? No? no, it's quite. I can. Oh. Spread it out. It's just going to fit. Oh, smell it. Oh, it smells amazing, isn't it? Mm. We're just, we're wearing our We at Life jumpers today. Mel's got the black one. I've got the pink one. Um, you can buy them off our new strength store. They're really cool. They're like terry towel, They're like fabric. Cool Is that what you too. call it? Yeah, like it's like a more lighter sort of towel type fabric, which is nice. Oh, it just fits just. now. Oh, so lucky. I wonder what it tastes like. Smells delicious. Mm. And then we sprinkle the cheese over. Yep. Goat's cheese. Mm. I think it just tastes like normal. This will be quite good too. It's not going to be too heavy on the old fat macros mm. either, will it? And the mince is mm. really, really lean mince too. Yeah. There's a lot of mince you buy in the supermarket. Just the fat. Oh yeah. So and look, high. it's not that fat's bad. Like saturated fat, it's good for you, but it's just it, excess fat is just excess calories that you don't need, and your body you know, it uses carbs for fuel. So you want to, you know, get more of your calories from carbs. So like, I mean, you could add some more cheese to this if you want, hey? Yeah. Mm. Oh, this would be yum. Yum. I reckon you salt it for I, I, I wonder if we should put it in for an hour just to be safe. <laughs> Let's start with 40 minutes maybe. Yeah, I just think, I'm just wondering with the potatoes, you want to make, like, the more you cook the potatoes at the start, um, you know, I actually think probably an hour would be good just to be safe. Because you don't want to have, you, know. you don't want to have hard <laughs> potatoes. So, yeah, cook it at 180 for an, for an hour. Okay. Yeah. But check it. Yeah. Check it before an hour. Like yeah, you can just stick the, stick the knife in and make sure it's nice and soft. You just want it to be nice and soft. So, mm. there you go. There you so go. Thanks, Nikki. Work on your stress. <laughs> should be, should yeah. be a message. Should be like, you idiots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're back and we've actually cooked it for an hour. So we'll get it out and have a look and at what it looks like. Um, we just thought cook it for an hour because it'll just make, that means that the potatoes will be cooked right through. Oh, look at it. It looks amazing. <laughs> And yeah, then you can just Ooh. put that into how many serves you want, five, six, eight serves. Um, and you know, I'd probably mm. add a bit more carbs to this, like have some fruit with it, because it's not that much yeah. potato. Like yeah. if you're dividing to six, it's only 100 grams, so it probably mm. needs a little bit more carbs. But let's we'll have, have a glass of juice. Mm. But you don't really want to drink the juice with the beef, because it increases the absorption of iron, unless you're you know, low in iron. But 
Mm, that's yum. Mm. Mm. There you go. Very nice. Enjoy. Bye. Bye.